Hey everybody, it's Patrick here and what I wanted to talk to you about today is how to prepare yourself to race and I'm going to talk specifically about the warm-up both from a physical perspective and from a mindset perspective. Both are really important to help you prepare and make sure that you're at your best for race day. So when you get to the race site, you want to ensure you have your lots of time to get your equipment ready. I like generally about 90 minutes. Some people are different just based on comfort and experience, but lots of time to allow yourself to warm up. And the reason why I like lots of time is because when we're talking about, and I'm specifically going to focus on short distance racing today. So, you know, like a 5k or even shorter 10k race, running race or triathlon, like a tri tri sprint distance up to Olympic. These are generally pretty hard efforts where you're going to be at or above you know your threshold or where you get a kind of burning sensation in the body for most of the race if not all of it so what you need to do is make sure your body's prepared for that effort it's really really important so you want to allow enough time to do that and generally speaking I like to allow at least 30 minutes to 40 minutes to allow myself to warm up and uh, the reason is that what it does it prepares your muscles gets the blood flowing to the muscles Get your heart rate elevated, get your vessels, your blood vessels opened up so blood flows better to the muscles, which carries your oxygen, so your body, body's more prepared. Where people make a mistake is, I see this all the time, you go to races and people are chatting and socializing and joking around and then they're like, oh, I got to get ready for my race, do a little five minute jog and then off they go to the start. If you're asking your body to do a hard effort, you got to allow time to prepare for that. So. You know, what I might do is if I can, take my bike out, go for a little spin, just make sure everything's working, do a couple, two to three kind of harder 60 to 90 second efforts up at my race effort. So get a little burn in the legs with full recovery in between those. So that might be 15 minutes or so. And then I'll transition out, do a short little run. Again, 10, 15 minutes tops. Um, and I'll go out and do a little, you know, 30 seconds, a little 60 second, little accelerations up to race effort. Again, allowing the body to warm up. And then lastly, transition in, get my uh, gear on for the swim, head out and do a little 10 minute swim where I just take the first few minutes nice and easy. And then I'll do a few little preparatory strokes where I'll do 20 strokes hard, 20 strokes easy, 20 strokes hard, 20 strokes easy come back in and I time it so I come in about five minutes before the race and I'm ready to go. Now here's a little breathing exercise that you can do as you're waiting for the start line to help get your mental focus ready because it's all about confidence and staying positive during the race so you can get your best effort. So here's a little exercise I'd like you to do and you can practice this with me. So first thing I want you to do is take a big breath in through your nose, exhale through the mouth, and make sure you believe in yourself. You've done the work, you're prepared, you're trained, you're ready. Next breath in, exhale out. Always remind yourself, you can do this. You are ready, you've done the work. Next breath in, exhale out. You will do this because you know you're confident, and you're prepared. And lastly, this cue is best once you start right to the finish, is always remind yourself to be your best in this moment. So the only moment that matters when you're racing is the moment you're in. Be positive, know that you're ready, execute your race, and have a great day. All right, so there's a warm up for you. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, just fire me an email or respond to the, uh, in the comment section below. All right, have a great day. Great racing to you.